In every U.S. Army operation, one thing is certain. The mission does not stop just because a vehicle breaks down, gets stuck, or is hit by enemy fire. When armored convoys push through harsh terrain, when supply trucks bog down in mud, or when tactical wheeled vehicles are disabled under pressure. When armored convoys push forward and the terrain pushes back, the U.S. Army relies on one machine to ensure no vehicle is ever left behind. That Guardian is the M984A4 Hemti T Wrecker, the silent giant that keeps the U.S. Army rolling. The story of the M984, a four hemped wrecker, begins in the late 1970s when the U.S. Army needed a new generation of heavy tactical trucks capable of supporting modern armored forces. During the Vietnam War era and throughout the 1970s, the M520 Goa served as the U.S. Army's main heavy tactical transport vehicle. Oshkosh answered the call with the HEMT-T program, Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck, a family designed to bring unmatched off-road mobility, high payloads, and rapid logistical support to the battlefield. Among these vehicles, the recovery variant, later evolving into the M984A4, was created to solve one critical problem, bringing disabled army vehicles home from the most unforgiving terrain. Before the modern A4 model, earlier variants such as the M984A0 and M984A1 relied on the Detroit Diesel 8V92TA, a two-stroke V8 engine producing around 445 to 450 horsepower. These models laid the foundation for the platform's reliability, but lacked the power and efficiency of the A4 generation. Later improvements produced the M984A2 and other upgraded models, refining suspension, electronics, and recovery systems. The transition to the M984A4 marked the largest leap in capability, replacing the older Detroit diesel with the Caterpillar C15, providing a stronger 515 horsepower output, improved torque, better fuel economy, and compliance with modern military emission standards. Together, these variants represent a continuous evolution shaped by decades of real combat and operational feedback. Physically, the M984A4 stands as a true battlefield giant, stretching 10.2 meters long, 2.6 meters wide, 3.2 meters tall, and weighing about 22 tons empty. Every kilogram of that mass contributes to its stability during heavy lifts, winching, and towing operations. Over decades of refinement, its heavy crane, dual winches, and lift tow system have been shaped by real operational lessons, from recovering tracked and wheeled vehicles during Cold War exercises, to pulling MRAPS hit by IEDS in Iraq, lifting damaged strikers in Afghanistan, and rescuing logistics trucks stranded on treacherous mountain and desert routes. Throughout its evolution, the M984 family developed through several important variants. The A0 established the foundation with Detroit diesel power and early HEMTT recovery systems. The A1 refined its electrical systems and reliability. The A2 modernized components, improved maintainability, and enhanced driveline strength. Finally, the A4 brought the largest leap, introducing the Caterpillar C-15 engine, improved suspension, digital controls, environmental compliance, 
redesigned crew protection, and optional armored cabs capable of withstanding battlefield threats. Each step forward was shaped by real operational experience, culminating in the highly capable M984A4 we see today. Together, these variants represent a continuous evolution shaped by decades of real combat and operational feedback. The M984 TMTT Wrecker has served across nearly every major U.S. Army operation since the 1980s. Its first large-scale presence came during the Cold War, when it supported heavy armored units in Europe, standing ready to recover M60 and later M1 Abrams tanks during large NATO training exercises. Its true combat reputation began during the Gulf War in 1991 where the wrecker proved essential in the deserts of Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, pulling disabled trucks out of deep sand, recovering damaged armored vehicles, and keeping the Army's fast-moving armored thrust supplied and mobile. In the early 2000s, the M984 series re-entered combat during Operation Iraqi Freedom where it became one of the most heavily utilized support vehicles on long-range supply convoys. The wrecker rescued HMMVS, hit by roadside bombs, recovered heavy tank transporters bogged down in soft terrain, and pulled overturned tactical trucks along MSR routes. Its rugged off-road mobility made it invaluable for recovery teams navigating narrow urban streets, desert highways, and unpaved rural paths. During Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, the M984 faced some of the harshest terrain in its history. Recovery teams relied on it to retrieve MRAPS, MT, VRS, and other tactical vehicles damaged by IEDS or stuck along steep, rocky mountain roads. Its winching and lifting systems were critical for clearing routes, supporting engineering missions, and responding to ambushes in remote valleys where no other recovery vehicle could reach. Throughout humanitarian missions, peacekeeping operations, and global deployments, the truck has remained the Army's trusted recovery platform. From Europe and the Middle East to Africa and the Pacific, it continues to support mechanized brigades, transportation units, and forward support companies. Its decades-long record, spanning desert warfare, mountain operations, and high-risk convoy missions, cements its place as one of the most important and enduring recovery vehicles in U.S. Army history. Some countries have purchased or received non-wrecker HEMTT variants. But the heavy wrecker, M984, remains a uniquely American platform. Each step forward was shaped by real operational experience, culminating in the highly capable M984A4 we see today. Together, these variants represent a continuous evolution shaped by decades of real combat and operational feedback. Your support keeps this channel going, just like the M984A4 keeps the U.S. Army ready for anything. This is Military Truck, your source for military logistics, heavy equipment, and tactical vehicle history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the machines behind the mission.